Okay, so I'd like to do a comparison of two solar water pumps. They're both 24 volt pumps. This is a, um, a standard, uh, fairly cheap 24 volt pump. It's only about five or six um, meters of head. So it doesn't actually push the water through with that much pressure. Uh, this is a slightly more powerful solar water pump that we normally supply with our uh, total solar pool heaters and this has actually got an 8 meter head so I'm just going to dip them both into the water and we'll see how much water flow that we can get out of them. Okay so this is the first of the two pumps, this is the cheaper 24 volt pump which can be used connected directly to a solar panel. So this is running off a 20 watt solar panel. Uh, shouldn't run it for too long out of the water because the water keeps it lubricated and stops it overheating. But this is, this is the intake, the outlet pumps out through there. So, you can see, um, the five meter water head, that's not really going very high at the moment. It's supposed to be able to five, pump water five meters directly uphill from basically the surface of the pool here at the moment. You can get a bit of pressure out of it by trying to stop the water flow. I don't think that's going to go five meters high. Let's say that's running off a 20, 20 watt solar panel, which has got 1.16 amp output. It's a pretty sunny day, so that should have almost uh, full power to the pump. Next we'll have a look at the uh, slightly better pump that we supplied with our uh, total solar pool heaters. So these pool heaters are solar absorption mat, um, absorbs the heat from the sun, circulates it around the pool and you just have a small 20 watt solar panel with it. Um, so there's no mains electricity supply so it's completely safe for the kids and actually this pool's at about 36 degrees at the moment with 25 degrees centigrade air temperature so it's working pretty well. Um, so have a look at the, uh, the better pump now. So this is the better pump that we normally supply with our kits and as you can see it's got probably twice as much water pressure coming out of it and this is only an 8 meter head pump. So it's running off exactly the same 20 watt solar panel by trying, trying to stop the water flow coming out of that. You can see I can get really really good water pressure out of that and it's going to give you a much faster flow rate through your solar heating mat. Exactly the same size solar panel. You don't actually need to go much above 20 watts further. In full sunshine, that's actually fine, even in partially cloudy conditions, you're still going to have plenty of water flow through that.